In this video, I'm gonna show you my top five ramen in Shibuya. Yes, yes, I know, I've already done a top five in Shibuya, but there's just so much good ramen here, I had to add another five. So let's get started. The first ramen spot is located just by the station. Number 5, Nanashi. This is one of my favorite tonkotsu ramen places in Shibuya. It's called Nanashi and they have an amazing pork broth here. And if you come here on the 11th of each month, you can supersize your noodles for 11 yen. Oh, I'm so excited because today is the 11th. Let's go inside. No pay for spending machines here, so first timers don't need to buy in a rushy rush and panic when locals start to queue up behind. And check it out, they have an English menu that you can just point to. It's awesome. So you can even throw down on different soups to go with this enormous bowl of goodies. It's a light pork base, but it's super sensual and deep. Look how thick this chashu is. That's almost bigger than my head. Mm. Wow, like a snowman on a hot day. It just melts. And look, you have some bamboo, onions, more pork, even some nori. If you're looking for a deep, full pork broth, this is the place to go. This is my ultimate recommendation. It is so good. It's like so thick, you feel like you're having a real meal. It's a straight medium noodle. Look at that. Mm. Mm, so tasty. Just how I like it. A soft, runny center. Mm. Fully satisfied with this meal. I want to just top it off. What I really like to do is this place is super cool because they give you fresh garlic to crush on your own. Check this out. Fresh garlic. And Pete, this free spicy green onion toppings. The onions and the garlic all mixed together is just a fantastic taste. And if you're looking to ease up on that muffin top, you can get this healthy ramen full of veggies. Number four, Kugatsudo. Just right behind me on the second floor of this cafe-like ramen store is Kugatsudo Ramen. Their ramen has all natural ingredients. What's pretty cool about this place is it's not only a ramen store, but it's also a place where you can enjoy Japanese sweets like matcha and stuff. This place has a seasonal menu, and if you're lucky, you can come here and they serve matcha ramen. And this is why I'm including it in my top five. Let's go check it out. Kugatsudo is what I consider a fashionable ramen cafe. And this one is for my viewers who appreciate the subtle flavors in their ramen. Wow, it smells so spicy. It looks so good. Let's have our first taste. That's some good tantan men. One of my favorite things about tantan men is like how thick the soup is. You can taste that it's a little bit sweet. There's a peanut sauce, which is very indicative of a tantan men. You can really taste the chicken base with like a little bit of pork. I ordered the spiciest version, but right now I'm not feeling it that too spicy. You get that with a lot of Japanese restaurants where they'll say that it's like very, very spicy, but then you get it and it's not spicy at all. This is the case, so look at the noodles in this thing. Noodles are not too hard, not too soft. They're like a straight noodle. Mm. And look, the cheese. Mm. I love how like the cheese just like melts in with the noodles. The one thing that I'm like, it's missing, it doesn't have like a lot of the toppings, which I really love. If you want to just have like a simple tantamen that's really good, I would recommend this place. Oh, I'm just like killing this. <sighs> And this is their standard ramen. So the soup is a shoyu based. Mm, it's not too strong. It actually has a mixture of pork, chicken, and vegetable. And it's just like a very, very mild taste and very easy on the senses. And it's cool, look, it has even some bamboo in there. 
Mm. Nice and crunchy. Mm. It's like an elegant, sophisticated taste. You don't feel like you're eating something junky. It feels like a very, very natural ramen, something that's like very healthy. Well, I mean, ramen in general is not so healthy, but it feels like, you know, the ingredients that they've used are very healthy. Look at that meat. It's quite thin. Got some good chashu. Recommend this for those that like really just want a natural taste and something that's quite elegant. Number three, Hakata Furyu. This is a Hakata Furyu ramen. It has an awesome tonkotsu. This store is a little bit packed, so I'm gonna do the filming in Akihabara instead. Let me show you that place. Hakata ramen is a very popular ramen in Fukuoka. White creamy pork soup with thin noodles and cloudier mushroom toppings. Pork taste is really really strong in this one. It's like Luke Skywalker of pork. It's strong with the force. You can really get a sense of that pork broth. I like how thin the noodles are. It's super, super thin. Just like really clean taste. Amazing, I really love this place. It's a pork based miso, I'm so excited. Let's add a few of these too. It's kikuragi, it has no flavor, but when you put it in here, it gives it a nice texture. You can smell the goodness. It's a soup. So cream malicious. It's actually pretty spicy. Not like completely spicy like red that we've had before, but it is spicy. You can taste the pork bits and the onions in the soup. Look at that, the middle is still a little bit gooey. I don't know what they've done with this egg, but it's freaking awesome. It's really good. It is a must. Definitely get the egg when you come here. Look at that! Two of these for free! It's all included and you guys know I love free! Number 2. Otoko Asahi Yama Ramen So this behind me is one of Maiko's favorite places in Shibuya. They have Asahi Kawa Ramen which is originally from Hokkaido. Let's go inside and have some Hokkaido Ramen! Asahikawa ramen is shoyu ramen with a blended broth of pork and seafood and with minimum toppings. I also recommend messing with their miso ramen if you get a chance. Nice! They have an English menu with pictures! Get ready to ride the flavor. So good. Very, very unique taste of other ramens I've had. You can actually taste pork, chicken, and fish. It's predominantly a pork mixture, but it also has hints of fish in it. It's so good. Mm, I'm really enjoying this mixture. It's like the Starburst of ramen. Taste the flavor of the rainbow and the noodles. They're quite thick. They're like a medium hardness. Now, I wish it had a little bit more toppings, but this is really good. It has like really, really fatty pork. But what's also nice is that it has these like little bits of like chunky pork as well. And it's kind of like a shredded pork. Mm, and this stuff just melts in your mouth. Let's taste the egg. Look at that egg. Mmm, mmm, good. The egg really soaks up the broth. Man, I love this place. Let's try the spicy miso. See, I really love spicy food. Of all the places, I always have to have a spicy bowl. Wow, that is a unique flavor. It has the miso base, but it almost has like this uh, very, very strong acidity property. It almost feels like they took like some sake and they poured it in here. It's not like it probably has actual sake in it. It's like the, the pork is so strong that it gives us like this like really, really strong kick. The noodles. Ooh, the noodles are really thick. The noodles itself will fill you up because it's so thick. And number one, Tetsu. Right behind me is Tetsu. If you're looking for a hearty, meaty skamen, 
then this is the place to go. And if you're also looking for something super duper spicy, wow, I've got a surprise for you. Let's go inside. Oh, and for those who don't mind the muffin top, you can supersize the noodles for free. Skimen, which is a dipping style ramen, is the most popular menu item. One of my favorite things is toppings, and look at these toppings. It's so freaking heavy. It's thick-tastic. Amazing. Hold on, I'm just gonna try this right now because I'm so excited. Just dip it in here. Mm. Holy cow. It just like disintegrates in your mouth. It's like, oh, and all the flavors just flow. And like when I just dipped it in there, you can taste the fish broth is really strong. But also there's a little bit of like chicken flavor as well. It's like really, really balanced, but you can definitely taste the fish. The noodles are super cold. This thing is heavy. Try this. <laughs> <laughs> this makes me happy. It makes me so happy. All right, let's put some nem on there. Throw the egg in there. Mm, a mouthful of love. This is a very, very heartful skamen ramen. And the meat is just incredible. There's so much. But if you're looking for a hearty meal, this is the place to go. When the skamen gets a little bit cold, you can ask for a really, really hot stone and you can put it in here and it reheats the skamen soup. That's so cool. Look, it's just like bubbling in there. I freaking love this place. Look how freaking thick this ramen is. So there's all these levels from one to five, and I got five, which is the spiciest. You would have seen in the other video that we had really, really spicy ramen. Now I'm gonna put this to the test to see how spicy the Tetsu ramen is. So you can smell the chili peppers. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna mix it up because all of the peppers get really, really like thick. So you wanna mix it with the miso soup so you get like an even flavor all around. All right. Oh, I always get so messy. Oh, that's a kick. You can like definitely taste the miso, but man, mixing that up is there's a kick. It's really tasty. Soup is just so thick. They use these like really flat, thick noodles in the ramen. Really just soaks up the spiciness so that you get that really big kick every bite. It has like these little like slivers of, of pork. If you really love spicy ramen, then this is another place that you should definitely check out. And it's freezing outside and I'm starting to sweat. It's fire alarm hot. It's not as spicy as red, but it's definitely spicy. I wouldn't recommend trying the five star here. We really can't handle your heat. All right, that concludes my top five for Shibuya, which actually makes it my top 10 now. If you guys like this video, help me out and hit that like button. Also, in the next video, let me know where you want me to do the next top five ramen. And if you want to see more of my adventures in Tokyo or throughout Japan, like always, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon.